Hey guys, welcome back to HemoJoys.net. Uh, I'm going to show you today a weather app. It's called B Weather. Quite like the icon, the little red and brown. It's quite nice. Um, it's a paid app, two pound sixteen in the marketplace. Um, it's very nicely presented. So I thought I'd show you guys what it's about. Um, as it says, no location. Select add from the menu. So we'll do that. Add location. London. And there we see the animation. Um, I skipped the one bit. When you first run it, it says it has to download an animation pack, which is about 25 meg. Um, it did that. I did that beforehand. Uh, no, we can see it's in Fahrenheit at the moment. So let me go into settings. Units. See, it says English, but I don't know. Like, we don't well. I suppose we use, there's one comedian says when it's when it's cold we use centigrade, when it's hot we use Fahrenheit, don't we? Oh, it's 100 out there. Oh, it's freezing, it's zero. Anyway, so there we go, that's what I understand, 19 degrees C. Um, observed 36 minutes ago, feels like 19, wind 14, it says wind direction, humidity, dew point, and pressure. If I tap the little icon in the corner there, um, I'm getting daily, obviously, daily reports there that I can slide along back and forth. So I can see the next few days, it's not looking too good. Next weekend, looking a bit better. I can switch that to hourly if I prefer. It's going to rain, it's going to be dark. There we go, so it goes sort of uh, 12 hours. Or I can see when the sun and moon rise, if uh, if you so desired. So I quite like that, it's simple, uh, but informative. What do I get there? So I tap there, I get uh, relay location, delete location, open browser, maps and media. So I go to maps and media. This is quite interesting. So I tap on one of these. It roughly locate. Oh, that's not me. Oh, that must be the nearest. That must be the station where the station is using. And it plays through an animation. Now I did find I had to wait a little bit last time for this to work properly. But I think it does keep playing through. And it does, you see up in the corner, it tells you the time of the image. And I think it'll start again in a second. Well, there we go. So it does look like the clouds aren't moving. That's a bit odd. When I did it before, it was a bit, there was a bit more to see. Let's see what the other satellite one does. That one's not moving much either. And this is past, you know, past uh, the, the clock is from earlier in the day rather than going forward. But I suppose it can't show us a picture of things going forward. Anyway, they I'd normally I think they do move. Um, obviously, you can add as many locations as you like. Let me put in Washington D.C. Twenty-seven. Wow. Although the animation's the same. Um, where can I? You can just hit add my location then wherever you train. You know, if you travel a lot, it just detects where you are and uh, and does the weather for you there. Let's try. Surely it can't be sunny in Glasgow. Part, oh, was that it? Huh. Why is it? <laughs> Scattered clouds, partly cloudy. I want to find someone with a different animation. Um, mostly cloudy. Well, it's a different animation. <laughs> it looks much the same. It's a different animation. I like that it gives you the time as well in that, you know, in, in that location. Um, so that's the app itself. There are widgets as well, quite a lot of them I think. Six widgets. So you get the kind of, let's see, 4x2 gives you uh, a few options obviously. Clock style, white flip clock. This effectively is the sort of sense um, clock. You tap the weather thing, it opens the weather app obviously. Thing opens the clock if you tap the top, so it's quite a nice widget if you don't have one already. Um, don't know if we can get a candle, that does. I think. 
Uh, so that's that's one of the widgets. You can get smaller ones that just give uh, a couple of days temperature, for example. There we go. Again, tap on it to open the app. So that's it. I quite like it. It's, uh, it's nicely presented. Um, and it's not too expensive at uh, at 216. Like I say, you get a nice widget if you're after a decent clock widget. So there it is. Oopsie daisy. Be weather, £2.16 on the marketplace. My name's Andy. Hemmajoy's done it.